What do you do with the trash in your car? I tend to put it in my little like handle thingy or sometimes I throw it on the floor. It used to be just straw wrappers and receipts that for some reason I just can't say no thank you. I don't want a receipt. Why can't I do that? But now because of the pandemic, it's also hand wipes and wet wipes, packages and stuff. So I thought I need a place to put all this stuff. Enter the car trash bag. This is not a trash bag yet, but it's going to be. I thought having a Harry Potter one might be fun. This is a super easy sewing project that you can make in just a few minutes. Hi, I'm Nikita and welcome to my channel where this is what I do. I drink and I sew things. Today I'm drinking a 19 Crimes wine. Have you heard of this? It's so cool. You can download an app to like scan the face and it like comes to life and talks to you. This one is The Uprising. It's a red wine aged 30 days in rum barrels. And it is very good if I must say so myself. Also, I got a new sweatshirt. Check it out! Woogie, 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 woogie. I don't know if anybody else here remembers Rocket Power. If you do, talk to me in the comments because Rocket Power Man used to play that video game. Oh man, those were the days. Anyway, let's get started on this car trash bag project. You are going to need your wine, of course. Don't forget that. You are also going to need some fabric. I'm doing a different one for the outer and a different for the lining. I'm using scraps. You can also use fat quarters. You're gonna want a measuring implement of some kind or straight edge a rotary cutter or fabric scissors. And then I'm using my sewing clips because it's just so much easier, but you can also use pins. So to start, I'm going to cut two pieces of one of my fabric that's 10 inches tall, and I want it to be six and a half inches wide. Now you're gonna cut two pieces of the other fabric the same size. So now I have two lining pieces and two outer pieces. Then we are going to cut a piece of fabric for the strap, which is going to be three inches wide and 16 inches long. Now I have my inner and outer and I have the piece that's going to become my strap. So let's start putting them together. While I wait for my iron to heat up, I'm gonna drink a little wine. If you haven't tried this one, you really should. It's so good. I'm gonna make the strap first because I wanna have it ready to go for when my other pieces are sewn together. So place the fabric for your strap right side down. Then we are going to fold it in half, hot dog style so that the long edges are touching, and then we're going to press it. Now unfold it, and you should have a nice crease here in the middle. So what we're going to do is fold one side until the long edge meets that crease, and we're going to iron it in place. Then we are going to take the second side and do the same thing. So now you have something that looks like this. Last step is to fold it in half again. So we're gonna fold it in half at the crease so these two long edges meet. Press it one final time. Now we're going to take this to our sewing machine and we're going to do a straight stitch from top to bottom just along this open side. I am going to be lining this up to the 1 8th seam allowance mark on my presser foot. So really we're just trying to sew as close as we can to the edge. So let's go sew that. So now this is what it looks like. There's no need to sew either of the ends because we're going to be putting them inside the bag and they will be hidden. So then this is kind of what your strap is going to look like. The next step is to take your two outer pieces and place them right sides together. Clip or pin around these three edges. Then you're gonna do the same for your lining pieces. Now that both of these are clipped, I'm gonna take a little bit of my wine. And we're going to go sew both of these along the two long edges and one short edge so that you make a little bag. So we're not stitching the top, we're leaving that open. We are also going to be using a quarter inch seam allowance. So let's take it to our sewing machine. Now we are going to make a boxed 
bottom for our trash bag. If you don't want to have a boxed bottom, then skip this step. I'm going to start by taking one of my bags and I am going to hold each side. So the short side that's sewn is up close to me and I'm going to pull on it. So that now I'm pulling, I'm kind of pulling the bottom so that it makes a triangle here. Now, once I've got it looking like a triangle, I'm going to measure an inch and a half from the point of the triangle. Now make that mark and I'm going to make a straight line. So it's one and a half inches. Now, before I do the other side, I'm actually going to go sew this. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna finger press open my seam and then I'm going to sew right along that line that I made. Now that I've done it for the one side, I'm going to turn my bag and I'm going to do it for the other side too. Remember to measure the same amount, it's one and a half inches. And finger press open the seam and go sew straight across. So now my bag looks like this. You can see it has a boxed bottom. I'm actually gonna go ahead and trim off these two triangles here. because I don't want all that extra fabric. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other bag. Now take your lining bag and turn it right side out. Then we're gonna place the lining bag inside of the outer bag so that the corners or the new flat corners that we made will line up and so will the side seams. So I have two side seams here that will match up. So then go ahead and push that lining bag into the corners. Okay, now we have to add our strap before we sew around the top. Take your strap and fold it so that the two ends are meeting. We're going to place this inside of our bag. It's okay, we can just shove it in there for right now. And we're going to line the ends up with the lining and the outer piece. And I'm going to clip this. So make sure that your strap is in between the outer and the lining. Now that we've clipped this, we are going to clip around the edge as well, making sure that the top is lined up and making sure that the side seams are lined up. So it's all lined up, it's all clipped. I've added double clips here because I'm going to start at this clip and I want to remember when I get to the double clips that I'm going to stop and backstitch, leaving open a couple of inches so that I can turn my whole bag right side out. So let's go sew. <laughs> so let's sew. Cheers. To make this work the best, I like to remove the arm of my sewing machine because then I can slip the bag around this. To make this work best, I also like to have my wine with me. Ooh, it's got lipstick on it. Oh well, a little lipstick never hurt a wine glass, right? Once again, we are going to use a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure that you backstitch at the beginning and the end, otherwise when we turn the bag right side out, we'll end up breaking our stitches. Now I'm to my double clips, which means I need to stop, back stitch, and one forward stitch again. Now it's time to turn this baby right side out. See, once we have it right side out, you should have this kind of long tube thing but your strap should be on the outside if you did it right, if you put it in between the lining and the outer fabric. Now take your lining fabric and we're going to push it into the outer fabric and we have an opening to close, which we're gonna do by just top stitching. So I'm going to fold these ends under. You can press this, you can pin or clip it in place but instead I'm just going to slip it onto my sewing machine and I'm going to top stitch it in place using an eighth of an inch seam allowance this time. Now that I've reached my starting place and I've back stitched, I'm going to clip my threads and now I'm done. And there you have it, a great scrap buster or fat quarter project. A great time drinking some wine, woo. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and then Stick around so you can drink along and sew along with me on my next video. Thanks for watching. Cool beans.